So welcome back. Uh, for this tutorial we're going to look at how to create abstracts, footnotes, and uh, bibliography. So again, more simple things that will help you, you know, when you have your term paper, uh, you know, we're giving you all the tools. Uh, in the later videos we're going to talk about, you know, more mathematical symbols, more complex uh, things, but you know, I would like to make this at first accessible to anybody who's just writing text. Okay, so um, the abstract, you know, it's usually something at the beginning of the paper to sort of summarize uh, what you're going to be talking about in the paper. Uh, the abstract takes the form of a begin end environment. Okay, so just like begin document end, end document, you write begin abstract and abstract, and then you put whatever you want inside, and what you're going to get is something that looks like this okay so it's very nicely designed okay so maybe let's put the whole thing uh, and you know it looks I mean my favorite part about LaTeX is just the way that everything comes out uh, to me it's very uh, visually appealing when compared to something like Microsoft Word so okay so the abstract is very simple very simple uh, command and again you know this is something you can find on Google in 10 seconds, how to, how to make an abstract in, in Lata. Okay. The next step, we may want footnotes. Okay. So the footnotes command, footnotes, and of course, you're going to have some input. Okay. So this, um, okay, so we write our footnote command and uh, we write inside what we would like. Now what's going to happen when we compile here is the number is going to show up right here. Okay, so, oh sorry, footnote without an S. So again, you know, it's good for you to see this happening even to me, uh, a veteran user of LaTeX, I mean, uh, you know, I put in the wrong command, you, you see how the, the 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 console freezes up and lets you know that there's a mistake uh, rather than uh, the, the document compiling. Okay, so I put a footnote. Uh, where do we put it? Here. Okay, so you see I put the footnote at the end of this period and the number comes up here and the footnote comes down here. Okay, so you can do this, you know, anywhere. So, you know, sometimes you want it at the end of the sentence. Sometimes you want, you know, maybe some footnote about open source. What does that mean? <clears throat> and you'll see here's our first footnote, here's our second footnote, okay? Uh, if you make a space, you should get a space, okay? So, uh, and then, you know, here we have our footnotes. Again, another nice, easy feature, easy to use, like most of these, you know, I think the hardest part with LaTeX is just getting used to it. But once you get used to it, uh, it's very simple to proceed. Okay, so the last uh, thing for this video is the bibliography. Okay, so this is where you put all your references, and I particularly like uh, the bibliography of, of LaTeX. So it's very simple. Uh, begin bibli the bibliography. You have to put this one here. See, uh, even me, I'm I'm not I'm not sure what the one does. Uh, I'm sure it has some purpose. If you don't put it, it won't compile, so it definitely has some purpose. Uh, and then here you put emblem bibliography. Um, so whatever the purpose is, you know, that's for more advanced users of the bibliography. And right now it's not worth, uh, it's not worth thinking about that. Okay. So then you put uh, bib item. Okay. So that's going to be the first item in the bibliography. Okay. Again, you have to put two curly brackets. I think the input here is for the reference. If you want to reference this in text, but uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I don't use these advanced features because for me I just write out the bibliography uh, basically and then when I cite it in text I just cite it in text uh, you know to me that that's not much of a hassle for other people that may be too much so they want they may want to go into okay how can I customize the bibliography to automatically cite things when I want to cite them uh, etc so you compile this and what you get is this very nice section uh, and I like the way that everything is laid out. I like the the numbering. Um, so you know we can make a few. And you know so I have some other examples of 
you know, if you put the same thing, it doesn't look as good. But I have some other examples like, let's see. Here, this is just a bibliography I put together. And I mean, it's, I think it's nicely 